Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have received a direct statement from our beloved Mufti Menk regarding all the online controversy of his endorsement of this new Quran. Mufti Menk first of all says that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the best person is the one who learns and teaches the Quran. This means everything about the Quran, reading to the reciting, meaning, reasons of revelation, ruling. You can pause and read through the rest. Mufti Menk then said that the Quran as revealed, the book that people are making a fuss about, is not in Arabic because it's not for tilawa, it's not for recitation, but it's in English for the under understanding of how the surahs were revealed when Allah brought them forth in Makkah. In the ever-evolving digital landscape, technology and faith often find themselves at crossroads. Such is the case with the recent controversy surrounding Mufti Menk's involvement with a dating app and the so-called New Quran, a story that has sparked widespread discourse, and today we delve into it. In late January of this year, Mufti Menk addressed these issues head-on through his channel. Regarding a book that's, that came out was not published by me, but it's a brilliant text to study the surahs of Mecca. It's not a Quran. It's not a Mus'haf. I have a very high isnad, probably higher than a lot of the guys out there when it comes to Quran. So I've memorized it since I was a child. I read it and complete it very often. I know its order as is. Starting from Surah Al-Fatiha to Surah Al-Nas, I've been the Imam of Taraweeh. There are full Quran recitals in my voice online that are available uh, and so on. So to think and to imagine, to even think for a moment, I came up with a new Quran is, a, is devilish. It shows stupidity and ignorance. That's what it shows. Gratitude was the first sentiment he expressed, acknowledging the opportunities he's been given to carry out good work. He spoke about the dating app named Simply Nika and the misconceptions that have been swirling around it. He clarified that the app is not intended to replace the traditional marriage process. Instead, it serves as a chat moderator, a digital guardian of sorts to protect users and provide guidance as they navigate the path to marriage. The goal, Mufti Menk explained, is to utilize technology in a way that aligns with Islamic teachings, turning it into a tool for fostering positive connections. He also revealed plans for a comprehensive platform, a one-stop shop for marriage counseling and support. The second part of the controversy pertains to a book on the Sutras of Makkah. Misinformation led to claims that this was a new Quran. Mufti Menk was quick to dispel these rumors. The book, he explained, is a study of how the Quran was revealed, not a reimagining or replacement of the sacred text. In this age of rapid information dissemination, Mufti Menk urged his audience to be cautious about the information they spread. The well-being of the Ummah, he emphasized, should be at the forefront of everyone's mind. In conclusion, the intersection of faith and technology can often lead to misunderstandings. Mufti Menk's clarification brings to light the importance of understanding and respecting the nuances of these interactions. As we continue to navigate the digital era, let us remember to use technology responsibly and in a manner that supports our collective well-being. This story serves as a stark reminder that even in the digital age, truth and clarity remain paramount. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, peace be upon you.